is Anna and I'm one of the trainers at Mind Apples. And here at Mind Apples, we've been hearing a lot from people recently saying how they're feeling quite anxious and feeling quite stressed and quite overwhelmed and what can they do to help them keep calm. So this video is going to be looking at that, you know, how can we help ourselves to keep a bit calmer um, in these times. And it's absolutely normal that we are feeling a bit more anxious and stressed um, and tense maybe. Um, there's lots of uncertainty going around, you know, how long is this situation going to last? They could be worried about loved ones, um, the unpredictability as well. And we experience lots of positive and negative emotions all the time. Uh, we worry about things that happened in the past, we worry about things that might happen in the future. And emotions tend to be a signal for us, you know, from our environment. But when negative emotions um, build up and they become overwhelming um, and they become very intense, that's when you can feel very angry or very um, full of rage or um, how else might I feel fearful and, and even scared to some point. It's really hard for us to think straight. It's very difficult to solve problems, be creative and keep our emotional responses intact. We can't respond to people in a calm, rational, um, controlled or considered way. So quite often when we're talking about keeping calm, what we really need to think about is how do we keep calm so that we can manage our responses as opposed to manage the emotion per se. Emotions are our quick, instinctive, automatic response to something. Um, they're unconscious um, and very automatic. We then have a second response to a situation, which is our more conscious part of our brain, which is catching up and making a bit more sense out of the situation. We can't control the first response. It's very quick, it's automatic. It happens you know, without us realizing it all. But what we can do is learn to control how we respond after that. And that is the key to this thing. Are you responding intuitively, emotionally? Um, and acting emotionally, or are you responding in a more calm, considered and thoughtful way? Um, people might appear more calm than they actually feel on the inside, and that's because they're actually controlling their responses, their emotional responses better, even if they are actually sort of, you know, feeling that unease, that nerves, um, that anxiety on the inside. So a couple of um, top tips to share with you about this. First step is to notice when you are becoming emotional. And by that, I mean sort of, you know, that buildup of intense emotion, whether it's fear, whether it's anger, notice your signs. These can be um, things such as you know, faster breathing, heart rate goes up, it could be clenching the fist, it could be that sort of, you know, that tense sort of you know, muscles, um, feeling restless, just wanting to sort of you know, lash out or, or shout. And then the second step is to acknowledge the emotion, even if it's uncomfortable. Um, it's your automatic instinct. Um, you don't need to control the emotion, but what you do need to do is stop that emotion controlling you. Third step is to recognize how to manage any kind of intense emotion, whether it's often a panic or anger. Um, different things are gonna work for different people, so it might just be having to take shoot a few a few deep breaths, um, it could be some positive self-talk, it could be being with people or stepping away from the situation. And the fourth is to control your instinctive um, reaction that you might want to take and give yourself time for second thoughts. Now really have the wisdom to notice when it's important to walk away, to calm down and then respond in a much more considered way. And it is far easier to actually notice when the emotions are building up and do something about it rather than trying to tell someone to calm down when they're at their sort of, you know, they're, you know, they're already seeing red, you know, it just isn't going to work. So how can we manage our emotions and keep calm? Well, five things to think about here. First one is relaxing our bodies. So, you know, so physically relaxing, and that can either be going for a run, so doing something energetic to get rid of the excess energy and the excess cortisol, or it could be that we need to, um, relax our muscles it could be a massage or a hot bath or something like that second is to try and get some control over the little things that could be distracting and taking up your mental energy so what's on your niggling to-do list that you need to either address or compartmentalize third is to slow down and take breaks um, you know we only have so much mental energy when that gets used up that's when we're going to be far more 
emotional in our response. So take a break. And if you take a 30 minute break at lunchtime, get some fresh air, you will also be far more productive and motivated in the afternoon, as well as being able to, to respond in a more sort of calm and considered way. Fourth tip is to keep cool, and I mean that quite literally. Um, when we're feeling much hotter in this, you know, in the in the hotter climates and hotter temperatures, um, it can also increase our emotional responses. So if you are feeling sort of you know quite literally hot and bothered, try and cool down. Sort of you know, I don't know, cold shower, a bit of fresh air, or something like that. Um, and five is to top up your mental energies. Um, you know, when our mental energies are depleted that's when we're going to be responding from an emotional, intuitive, lashing out point of view. So avoid too much overload to give your mental energies time to recharge. And don't forget a good night's sleep is probably the underpinning thing for helping us to keep calm. It's so important to get decent quality night's sleep. So I hope this has been helpful for you in keeping calm. So remember, it's about managing your response as opposed to managing the reaction and not letting the emotional reaction take control over you. Please keep in touch, check in with us, let us know how you're getting on and look out for lots more top tips and videos that we've got for you. Take care. Mm -hmm.